Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today we're going to be testing a Bosch Piezo injector. Part number 0445117010. All right, uh, just a little talk about um, piezo injectors and some of their caveats. So a piezo is a little different than, than other types of injectors. For it to be able to operate above 100 MPA, the system has to establish, or the, the particular injector, a system if we're talking about a complete set in an engine, but here specifically talking about a single injector, uh, has to build up a certain amount of return PSI or back pressure. And I'll show you what I'm referring to here. The injector itself generates return volume this return volume with the restriction of the regulator builds up a positive pressure inside the return line. So once again, as you see this here, it's a Duramax LML injector. Okay, this is a new machine, still got the plastic on the windows. So when you crank the engine over to start up, it's going to run and idle at about, oh, 25, 30 MPA, 40 MPA, something along those lines. So it takes about 5,000 PSI, uh, or between 14 and 20 MPA, which actually is more down about 3,000 PSI, uh, has to generate that much pressure to overcome the spring tension against the pin along the nozzle for the mechanical of the uh, me mechanical effect of the injector to start emitting fuel, and we call that start of injection which is based upon the mechanical setting that it requires to lift the needle or nozzle pintle off of its seat and allow fuel to come out of the discharge orifices. So that has to happen. Um, and once again, for it to operate above 100 MPA, is what we're showing here, it has to build a suitable amount of pressure on the return side of the injector. Um, what has been a common, for testing purposes, a common pressure that has been thrown out there is 10 bar, 1 MPA, which is 145 PSI. I've never found it necessary, and if you go online and you look at the diagnostics for the trucks, you know, like the LML Duramax 2011 to 2016s and the 6.7 Ford 2011 up, uh, it clearly shows that a minimum of three bar is required to get the system to operate. So we set them at three and a half bar. For some reason, we were given that specification. And I think, honestly, I got that specification from the return regulator off of one of those trucks. So I think we, we acquired one just to see, you know, what the actual setting was. Now, I've tried to set them in higher PSI and lower PSI, and you know, in my experience, on our machines with our hardware, 50 to 55 PSI is all that you need. So this is going to serve essentially as an, an amendment uh, to any information that you've either you know, gained upon your own cognizance to learn or information that we've given previously uh, concerning how to test one of these piezo injectors. So where you want to start, now I don't know if this injector is any good. It's been sitting on the shelf for a couple of years and it was just a used injector to begin with. Um, we're going to start with this back pressure building test, which is BT and it's test number three in an attempt to get this injector to work at all. I have no idea whether it will or not, but we're getting ready to find out. And then we'll also talk about the amplifier. So the, the purpose for us to build this pressure is to charge up this amplifier to get the injector to actuate at all or predominantly uh, actuate correctly at pressures above 100 MPA. So we're going to get this thing started and see exactly uh, what it does here. We'll start with this test.
and we're starting to build up pressure. We don't have any output yet. You can see our return PSI up in the 50s. Okay, now we're getting flow. You'll see as soon as our pressure got up into the 50s, we started getting flow output. Okay, once we've done that, okay, now we could put this thing in auto mode. And when we do, it's going to start up here at test one. And it's going to run all these uh, sequentially, one after another. As each test concludes, it'll start the next test, and we don't have to stand here and watch it. But uh, we're going to make sure it's going to run this first test. Then we're going to jump down to the ISA detection. And uh, essentially, that's all we're going to do. Our main purpose here, not to fully test this injector, but just to see if it operates like it's supposed to once we have charged up the amplifier. So it's going to drop its own pressure. It's going to start. And watch the return pressure. So we're getting flow. Return PSI is coming up 20. 30. Should stabilize 50 to 55 or so. Okay. See that work. Okay, now we're going to we're going to X out of that one, that one, that one, and we're going to start here. And it's going to drop its pressure automatically. Okay, now it's going to start to test. And these values are way off. Well, it didn't start because it didn't drop the pressure properly. Let's hit it one more time. Okay, start. to it and once again like i said you know it's floating out there that you need 10 bar one mpa you know roughly 150 psi on the back side of these injectors it's not true um you can see here clearly that once we using this bt test once we built up the initial pressure for our amplifier module inside the injector now i don't know why they call it a module but anyway it looks like an intensifier to me but uh, it's called amplifier module. Once you build up that pressure in there, and you get it, uh, you get it up to the level it needs to be at, then you can start your testing um, above 100 MPA, and it's not a problem. So this is how we do it um, with our hardware on our machines set at these pressures. And I mean, I'll show you. I haven't like. Swap the injector or something during the video. I haven't spliced this together. Um, this is the same injector that was in it a minute ago, and it's a LML Duramax. And uh, I read the part number off the side of it: zero four four five one one seven zero one zero. That's the part number on the side of the injector. And you see, that's the part number we've got selected here. You see our return PSI is currently at zero, but obviously our amplifier piston is charged up. So once again, I'm going to start it right here. I'm going to put it in manual mode. Start it on this ISA detection test once again after I pulse it. Get rid of the pressure so we can start to pump with no load against it. 
and Okay, that's, uh, that's essentially all I've got for you today. I appreciate you watching and uh, uh, pray blessing upon you from the Lord Jesus Christ that uh, you would look to him and he would direct your path. Thank you for watching.